Hey, Kipsters! It's Mrs. Bell with a Reading Mastery lesson for you. Um, we have our little Reading Mastery friend here, Zebo. Say hi. And he's going to pop in and out of our videos all week. And it's going to be your job to count how many times you see Zebo sneak into our video. Because he just loves Reading Mastery and he just can't stay away. Alright, say bye for now, Zebo. Alright, let's get set up. Alright. Alright, you're gonna say the sound as long as I touch it. As long as I great, make sure I can hear you loud and proud. Alright, here we go. The sound is yes. P. The sound is yes. T. The sound is yes. G. The sound is yes. V. The sound is yes. The sound is yes. K. The sound is yes. N. The sound is yes. Sh. The sound is yes. Ah. The sound is yes. K. The sound is oh, great! You didn't get tricked. The sound is o. Oh. Why is it o oh and not ah? Hmm. What did you say? You got it, because when it wears a hat, it says its own name. And the last sound is, yes, you up, uh, 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 uh. All right, say so turn that page. All right, say so sound it out. We're going to sound it out. All right, we're going to say every sound first before reading the word. We're gonna say every sound first. Got it, got it? Great. All right, here we go. The word is, yes, fog. The word is, yes, sand. Hmm, this one's a little tricky here. I see two vowels walking together. Who remembers that rule? When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking and it says its own name. So take a look here. All right, let's go now. Let's sound it out. Ears. The word is? Yes, ears. All right, let's do the next one. Let's say the sounds. The word is lots. Great job. Let's do the last one. Say the sounds. The word is great. Lots. Say back to the top. All right. Say vroom vroom the fast way. Let's read these words the fast way. Get ready. The word is yes fog. The word is yes sand. The word is yes ears. The word is yes lots. The word is Yes, log. Great. Put your mirrors up. All right. Say my turn first. Looking good, looking good, looking real good. All right. Your turn. Mirrors up. One, two, three. Say looking good, looking good, looking real good. All right. Mirrors down. All right. Say turn that page. All right. Okay, it's time for our story. Miss Bell's gonna point to the words and you're gonna read each word as I point to the word, okay? All right, here we go. Let's make sure you can see it. All right, one, two, three. Let's go. The rat had fun. Did you get it? Great job. All right, let's go to the next sentence.
He ran in the sand. He had he had sand on his feet. Great reading, friends. Let's see if you could do this one now. Ready? He had sand on his ears. Oh my goodness. Let's keep reading. Your turn. He had sand on his, hmm, this is a tricky word. Can you help, help Miss Bella? out? So I see there's a silent E, and so I know the silent E is going to make the vowel say its own name. And it's wearing a hat, so I know that sound is going to be O. All right, let's sound it out together. N-O's. The word is nose. All right, thanks. Let's read it again together. He had sand on his nose. Wow, this, this rat has sand everywhere, huh, friends? All right, read the last one, last sentence for me. Uh-oh, here's another tricky one. Let's check it out. I see two vowels walking together. So I know the first vowel will do the talking and it's gonna say its own name. So tail, the word is, yep, tail. Let's read it again. He had sand on his tail. Wow, this rat has sand everywhere. All right, last sentence, let's read. Your turn. Ooh, this seems a little tricky. Let's sound it all together. And the word is sand. All right, let's see if you got it right. He said, I have a lot of sand on me. Oh my goodness. Let's check this rat out. He has a lot of sand. Ooh, friends. He has sand all over him. Wow. Where is this rat? What did you say? Yep, I think he's at the beach because I see the water and I see him running on the sand and he has sand all over. All right, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Let's go back to the words because we always go back to our text evidence to answer our questions. So. You can look in here to see if you find the answer. The first question says, who is this story about? Ding, 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 you got it right. The rat. Next question. What did he do? What did he do? Hmm, not sure. Let's check our text. The rat had fun. He ran in the sand. What did the rat do? He had fun and he ran in the where? Yes, in the sand. Where did the rat have sand? Where did the rat have sand? Yep, he had sand on his feet. Where else? Yep, he had sand on his ears. Yep. Uh-huh, and he also had sand on his nose, and he had sand on his tail. So if you said any of those, you were right. He had sand on his ears, on his nose, on his tail, and on his feet. And our last question is, 
What did the rat say? What did the rat say? It's here on this page. What did the rat say? Yes, he said, I have a lot of sand on me. Great job, friends. Well, thanks for reading with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right. Miss you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.